<sighs> yeah, well, so. You know, that's basically the long and the short of what. Something like what you guys call the Black Knight is. That's just like a toolbox off of a off of an asteroid ship. You know, made of graphene. That way, it can actually travel independent in a uh, interstellar. Magnetic connection, much like the interplanetary connections between the sun, so too, and planets, interplanetary magnetic filaments, so too between the stars and between the galaxies. <coughs> and you can easily ride them just like a, just like a big ion engine or. Just as you can ride it like a linear particle accelerator or a synchrotron coming out of a supernova or a secret galaxy. Especially if you got gravity engines in your vessel. You know, like neutronium from old magnetars. Shattered magnetars. But on that small planetary solar sentinel duty, we know we're basically these cyborg ships, I guess you'd call them float around and go change the local space weather and guide uh, you know <clears throat> it takes a lot of work to keep a planet like Earth in a star system like Souls I'm not getting hammered when the space weather gets bad And that's basically what what Doc Atomic Story was about. Only it was sent out with Chicken Little to go and get that uh, space city in. That's frozen in Sirius. Just out past Mars there, Sirius. Yeah. <clears throat> After you degas it, you know, and that's how you decelerate it onto Mars, too. Not unlike that graphene satellite that they're, uh, interplanetary. Asteroid ship, Phobos. Cirrus is cap. Um, Demos is captured. That, that other, that little Martian moon. One further out from Phobos. <clears throat> Which doesn't mean you can't attach like those pyramid engines I've described before to uh, Phobos. C certainly to move at once or into an orbit and then just adjust it. Solar sails, uh, if there's still shit to find out, well then you have your uh, your space cannon, see? <laughs> then your accelerator, or if you want a higher speed, you can get up to six kilometers a second with a hydrogen cannon, gas cannon. We use like a piston, just like quick launcher. Uh, I'll put the link under more information below the video because I can't link it on here. Oh wait, maybe he did have a uh, YouTube channel. Well, if so, it'll be right here. Sorry, Cindy. <coughs> we got some ducks back.
Look at that. Cobra Uranium Basin. You know, you want to go really big on a quick launcher. Even if you have to make it permanently mounted in in a borehole in granite that you plasma arced out. And it's only good for that one set initial launch tra trajectory, which, you know, is easy to change. You just have to... With a gyroscope and the offset the trajectory or external you need external engines anyhow whatever method you go to like space shuttle boosters out of aluminum but I don't think they've had too much luck getting their linear accelerators in up too high but in space where you don't have gas to deal with, you should be able to get them up higher. Right there. Yeah, and if you've got a launch vehicle that's like a rocket with, you know, 12. 14 feet across, well then you're keeping it up there in space after you unload whatever cargo is in it, whether it's fuel or food or construction parts or whatever the fuck. Food. Uh, whatever bulk goods you launched up through the cannon, that's uh, That's a habitat in space because that's how you built it, you know. Like what they should have done with the space shuttle engines for just a little more fuel capacity, they could have put those up there. But I guess they didn't want the expense of having to maintain a big space station. But what the fuck are you there for but to learn? And once you get something to orbit, if you use a smart uh, solar sail, even a modest sized one, on a big structure like a shuttle fuel tank, you can just, you just keep boosting it every time it's on that side of the sun. You know, uh, what's the expression, sun at your back? For solar sailing. <clears throat> as well as solar sails, and if you've got expendable mass, well, you can ionize it through an ion engine and use that to adjust your trajectories. Which is the same shit you use on something like, um, like big Phobos 10, 10 kilometers. say the ducks aren't friendly anymore. Or the friendly ducks all went into town or something. Other tourists are gone. <laughs> the wild ducks, well, they're wise and cautious. Hope you enjoyed the fall date. We'll catch you later. Hey, 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 stop it, guys. Hey, oh, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Guys. Well, do you see what I have to put up with? Hey, hey, hey. Cindy, you, do you know I have the camera going, Cindy? Cindy. Cindy, stop. Hey, 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 Cindy, sit, sit, Cindy, sit, Cindy, sit, sit, Cindy. Hey, relax, relax. Bear a little bit. Okay. Oh.
stop. Stop. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Give it up. Hey, 